What's up, guys? So I just got done watching the live stream Fing Tim Languages in Lao Shu, and I feel particularly inspired. And I want to talk a little bit about Lao Shu. So if you don't know me, my name is Mark, and this channel is called Language Come Up, a place where I come up and you do too. So when I came to Mexico in 2014, I was getting interested in the idea of learning Spanish. And somehow I came across this channel called Lao Shu 55,000, a guy who would go from place to place and just speak languages with people. And for me, I would say that he was my first real inspiration or the first person that really got me excited about language learning outside of my own situation. And what is really amazing about Lao Shu is because he has been doing this language thing for so long and you know, he has had so much success, especially in the past few years, but he's the embodiment of what it takes to be successful. Have a passion, go work at it every day, his languages, his YouTube channel, going out consistently, talking to people, you know, he has over a million subscribers now, but, you know, his success is really the result of years and years of ye and years of work, so that man deserves every bit of credit and success that he has because he's really worked his, his butt off. When you first see his channel and you see him switch through so many languages, you think like, wow, it's almost like, you, you almost think like, Jesus, the guy's like not even human, right? And the reactions that he gets are really so wonderful. But not only that, when people correct them, he is humble enough to be corrected and listen to what they say, you know? The man has no ego whatsoever. And, um, you know, the more you get into this whole language learning thing or develop as a language learner yourself, you start to get uh, an idea of really the level he's at in those languages. And, um, you know, maybe you even may have thoughts like, oh, what's the point of speak in so many languages if you speak at such a low level. Oh, he repeats the same thing over and over. You know, these are some things that um, people say against him. And, you know, in a way, you know, I can understand it, right? But here's what I would say um, just in response to that, you know. Um, look, if you speak one language fluent, you know, who really cares how many other languages... Um, you speak to what degree? It's like for me, after you have that first fluent language, you know, just you know, do what you want, you know. But I think that people do deserve to have one fluent language so they really know what that's like. But you know, the beauty the beauty of his channel is just that it's so innately human. You know, he goes up to people and he has conversations with people who maybe they've never even seen a foreigner ever speak their language. At least not in you know the United States, and it really touches them. Some of it, some of them, it just warms their heart. Some of them, their day is made, but some of them, you know, feel it on such a deep level. Like Moses really touched them. I think I some years ago I saw one. Uh, I think he spoke Bosnian or a similar language to a woman, and like she at Walmart, and she just cried from joy. She was so touched. And, um, you know, it's a beautiful thing. So, really, it's, not, it's really not much you can say against that. And, you know, I've always been really, I don't know, you know, I'm from Ohio. And uh, the way that we love LeBron is kind of unique because we feel like he's one of us. You know, I'm from Ohio, too. And I, I've always been extra proud of Moses because, you know, he is a fellow Ohioan, you know, not just you know, an Ohioan, Ohioan, a guy from Northeast Ohio like me, like, he's from Akron, you know, I'm from um, the Youngstown Warren area, I lived in Akron about six years of my life, very important place for me, and um, it's always nice to see one of your own uh, succeeding, so, um, you know, I love channels, like, you know, I think we should really, really keep in mind of, like, the heroes of this of this language learning thing, and Moses is one of them. You know, for me, it's like, you know, 
Steve has the channel if, if you really want to understand language learning and like as a process. You know, I think that's like the quintessential language learning channel. I think Luca's channel is amazing because Luca is just an incredible language learner and he gives you, he sheds light on um, just ways to go about things that I just think are completely incredible. But as far as Moses goes, he has like the most motivational channel in terms of like if you want to get that boost, like if you you know, you feel inspired, that's like the channel to go to. Because I remember like in 2019, just watching a video or two of his would just make me want to really get, um, just jump into my Russian studies and, and keep it going. And there's a lot to be said for that and what he's done. And, you know, he's been in this over 20 years now. The man is a true legend. And um, Moses, I want to say thank you for everything. All right. So that's all I wanted to say about the topic. Uh, it's something I wanted to say for a long time, but um, look what happened. I'm feeling inspired again by the man. So go ahead and like this video and subscribe and tell me what is it that you like best about Moses and his channel. We'll see you next time.